Today, she'll be driving herself to work in her hometown of Rotherham in a car with some seriously hot bodywork. That's awful! But what will she make of the booty on the boot? No! <laughs> the bangers on the bonnet? <laughs> ruined a, a really nice car! <laughs> and not forgetting that peachy roof rack. Now, it seems really cruel, but in fact, it's shock tactics because I want her to realise her body's not as bad as she thinks it is. Shut up and drive. Shut up and drive. Remember that? Some other people won't notice that it's me, you know, because I don't use the walk around in my bra and pants. They might not recognise my face, eh? She's having a look. Oh, she's just turned her nose up. Look. Rachel's underway with her show on the road and I'm raring to meet her at work, where I'll be canvassing opinion from her colleagues to find out exactly how they see her figure. How does it feel to see your body on that car? Horrendous. With a little bit of gokka love in, you are going to be loving that picture very soon. You reckon? I reckon. <laughs> if Rachel is ever going to accept her body, she first needs to confront her worst critic, the girl who's staring back at her in the mirror. So what's wrong with you, then? If you, if you, if you need my help or uh, anyone's help, you tell me what, what's you wrong with see. you. <laughs> you can see. I'm just too big, too boring. Right. Not abnormally big. Abnormally big. Mm. And so what would normally be? What's, what's, what's a normal size to you, then? A normal size would yeah. be to be about this high and be about a size 10. OK, class, so, OK. Gorgeous. So it's not just body mass, oh, it's all to do with height as yeah, well, then? Yeah, God, yeah. All right, how tall are you? Uh, five foot ten and a quarter. I think my height is probably what's caused me my biggest problem. I'd love to wear high shoes, but it makes me over six foot. Somebody once compared me to a, a, a guy, a man, and I often think, you know, I hope they don't think that's a bloke in drag. Come on, try and back up. That's really bad. That's the worst that I thought. We were talking about getting married, and she said she won't because she doesn't want to look fat and ugly in a wedding dress. And that would be nice to get her sorted for that. Just, you know, that'd be really good. I think basically what happened I've is, never is that been you were. Happy. I've never. I've always wanted to be smaller. The height is the height. It's definitely mm. the height. But if you don't like the body that you've got, starting off with something as simple as your height, which no one, not even a plastic no. surgeon, can do anything about. If you don't like that, how the hell are you supposed to have a relationship with it? I genuinely think you've actually never, ever known your body. I don't think I'll ever like what I see, but I'd like to just accept what I see. I don't see a freak, I don't see big, I don't see too tall, I see a woman. And it's hugely sexy.